all right guys so we have the ultimate list right here 10 ways to instantly Boom. up Woo. your swag Fun really video. easy things that you guys can implement right now oh yeah Crazy i love this list. list i love this list I, I could agree with every single one and i think it's gonna be super helpful yeah no, got with, some item recommendations exactly. on there as well with all that being said you guys don't take this too seriously we just want whoever needs to help take it whoever does it just let it go we're here to help for Let's sure all right so number one yeah. this came from everybody literally asking about this beanie oh okay purchase easy to break or easy to lose items from amazon yep, yep i yep. bought all these Arterix beanies recently i was like i just keep going back to the amazon beanie man like and, and this situation that you're bringing up usually rich is when you're out and about maybe at a yeah. festival maybe at a club maybe somewhere you're gonna get a little hazy get a little hazy you know, and you're gonna lose things. Like those I'm are lost. special with glasses. I was glasses. gonna say, yeah. man. Or shorties love glasses, stuff. especially when you got loud, big glasses. They're, ooh, let me see what they look like. Let's see what they look like. I on think you. that's you why people really gravitated towards our um, more affordable tribute glasses. Yeah. Rather than spending like two hundred dollars on the Oakleys, they're like exactly hey, forty dollars for these uh, sunglasses. Yep. Still, still branded. Still go gets well. packaging, good quality. So. Yep. Yeah. Amazon, man, they have a lot of generic things that you could purchase, and then. Yeah, if you Bro. like, I'll have both. I have some nice Oakleys for, yep. you know, if I know I'm going to keep them protected, yep. keep them nice. But then if I'm going to like, uh, you know, when we're at Coachella, we just have the Amazon. Glasses. You know, you'll feel a lot better if you lose the Amazon. For voice. sure. Yes, yeah, sir. we'll leave some links down below to some of these items that I'm talking about that mm -hmm. I personally purchased, like these beanies. These are five bucks. Uh, some of the glasses. Yep. Um, underwear. Yeah, anyways. <laughs> underwear. Buy camo from Cabela's Ooh. Bass Pro Shops. Oh, man. Talk about this, Johnny. Probably one of the funnest videos that we did was at the Bass Pro Shop. And I got to say, man, the camo ranges from A to Z. Yeah. Every I, I single camo, camo that I've never even imagined before. Can I, can I say one thing about camo, guys? What? Realtree yeah. is overrated. Like the actual brand. Oh, when it comes yeah. to brands like, let's say, Stussy, yeah. um, I don't know, other brands that collaborated with Realtree, uh -huh. when they use the term Realtree, it's yeah. an actual brand. It's not actually the print. It's the brand Got Realtree. It. God, and I, I never think knew that. it's not needed. Like you guys said, like yeah. Yeah. you guys no found so many cool camos out there. Bro, and it's affordable yeah. at Cabela's yeah. and these Bass Pro Shops. Like, it's actually affordable. Affordable. Right? Like, you go on these designer websites in clothing, Essence, they are charging an arm and a leg for camo hoodies, what? camo pants. Literally, guys, you will find every silhouette, every type of hoodie, yep. every t-shirt at Bass Pro Shops. You we want were, pants, you we want so shirts, surprised. you want overalls, you want whatever in camo. What's your, what's your guys' favorite camo? Oh, I man. Like, uh, I like um, Realtree. Real I used Tree? to really like Tiger, but... Yeah, uh, Tiger, I, like, I got him faded out with Tiger. Yeah. But. I feel like something fun but still has the you know, static and the fatigue uh, approach is a, a duck camo. Yeah, duck I got to say duck yeah. camo is kind, of kind of like Bape a little bit, you know? Yeah. So. Yeah. Gabe and I saw they literally had a camo that looked like Bape. It was, it was like I mean, without the little, you know, gorilla on. It was, it was literally <laughs> the same. But yeah, yeah. That's, a, that's a good one, though. That's a good one. We got reduced decision fatigue. Kind mm. of have a personal uniform that you could just go to ah. every single morning because... Uh, I got this from like uh, basically a lot of uh, like, you know, multimillionaires, billionaires or whatever. They know that throughout their day, they're going to have so many decisions that they're going to make. They rather reduce the amount by just having a go to yeah, base of their point. outfit. You yeah. know, like Mark Zuckerberg, he only yep. has one go to outfit. Yep. Yep. Uh, Look yeah. at Steve Jobs' then, turtleneck, you know, like. Yeah. But then, yeah. you know, their accessories, their watches, maybe their glasses or whatever yeah. else that they're pairing with their basic uniform. Yeah. yeah. That's the one thing that they want to at least give it more thought yeah. yep. and, you know, kind no, of I like that one a lot, man. I, I feel like obviously as businessmen ourselves, we make decisions all the time. Sometimes I get overwhelmed when I see you guys' outfit. I'm like, that feels like it's a lot of thought that's yeah. put into it. And then you try to upkeep that. But if you have, like you said, those go-to for the days where you know you're just going to be running mm -hmm. errands, it makes life so much yeah. easier. I think that's why we have our go-to hoodies and why we care so much about how yep. it fits. Same yep. with the pants. Go to's. You know. We always yep. talk about daily, daily. Daily, daily. Yeah. It's just like make it easy. Make and you know what's easy. crazy? There are pages out there you can follow where guys just dress really basic, but for some reason it just looks perfect. Fresh. Whether it's you yeah. know a different necklace, a different bracelet. So for sure. Next up, we gotta have a scent she can remember mm. you by. Oh, <laughs> I gotta they say. The biggest remembrance, I don't I don't know the word, but is scent. It's not it's not feel, it's not sight, it's yeah. literally your scent leaves the lasting impression that gives you the closest to uh being with that person that's and, true uh, that's wow. true you throw a little I honey do have with to the... say when i Go smell ahead. something it takes me back to a particular time and very place true. for sure very true for sure. sometimes you remember what the old shorty her 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 perfume smell like and then yeah. you sometimes the you don't even want the same scent as let's say the most hyped scent right the most popular cologne nah. i would say gravitate away from that 
and find something that's more unique. That. Yeah. Hey, hey, and hey. like, hey man, hey, this is not even sponsored. <laughs> but huge shout out to Sam Bird, Two's no. Man Chill, yes. Two's Man Chill. That is the that's the one we had in Phoenix. And Literally, to be honest, I never even heard of that brand. Me but either. It smelled the best, and I guarantee you, you ain't gonna go to no uh, cologne shop and be like, I want. Nah. What's it called? Two's man shell. I'm not, man I might not be pronouncing it right, but literally refreshing. Uh, man, just we'll leave a link down hey, to let. That I got well. a little hack if, uh, if, to know if Shorty really love you or not. I found out that scientifically, mm -hmm. when a woman starts falling in love with a man, they actually accept your body odor as well too. Like they actually are attracted to it, like aroused by it. So if mm. your girl telling you you stink. She probably don't love you, dog. Wow. You know what I mean? I but it. I got a I got a personal scent. You know, you guys talk about the uh tubes, tubes man scent and stuff yeah. like that. My special go-to scent that I have that's fire is what I smell like burgers. What? Because I smell like burgers. So what's up? <laughs> what's up? I thought this guy was gonna say old spice <laughs> or uh dove you know, or something. Dove. I don't, I don't really use I, I I use dove, you know. This like, guy the, said burgers. Let you gotta bro, explain this, man. What the there hell? There was one time where I was done like whipping up burgers. I, I think I was like working and stuff, right? But I had to go to a Halloween party. Like this wasn't too long ago. Oh, I know where it's going. I pulled up to the Halloween party just smelling like burgers, man. All the BB, say, all the BBWs <laughs> flocked. Huh? I, got, I was I not gonna say attention. something like that, Tan, but you took the words out of my mouth. I got an attention. I gotta say there was a weight limit on everything. It was great, man. It was hey. great. I love it. So they came smelling off of the grease. You know, yeah, just, just it's just the aroma of that 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 who, the, who, the burgers. Who got the burgers? Who got straight you? Straight up, straight <laughs> up. Who came in? You the only one came in violent. Wow. They got attracted yeah. by the uh, uh, what is it? The, the G. Uh, the GBD? Golden Brown Delicious. <laughs> Jeez Man. Louise. All right, that's so, yeah, hilarious. Just have a good scent, guys. Whether, just a good scent, guys. I guess for Johnny, burgers is the one. But, uh, <laughs> Go to, baby. My God. Hey, you like what you like, baby. You like what you like. All right, guys. So we're always giving you guys tips and advice when it comes to sneakers, fashion, you know, all that good stuff. But one thing I always get questions about that is equally, if not more important, is my skincare. That's why I'm super excited to announce today's video sponsor, Tej Hanley. They help men start and maintain a skincare care routine by simplifying the entire process. If you guys don't like to overcomplicate things, then this is a system for you guys. I recommend starting off with their level one system so that you guys can get all the essentials down first. It comes with a daily face wash to get rid of the dirt and grime on your skin, a two times per week exfoliating scrub to get rid of those dead skin cells, an AM moisturizer with SPF 20 because you should always be protecting your skin from the sun, and a PM moisturizer to help your skin stay hydrated and healthy throughout the night. And it comes with an instruction card that tells you what product to use, how much, when to take it. They pretty much spell it all out for you. Super simple. You guys know we're always giving you guys fashion and sneaker hacks. This is pretty much a skincare hack. And because Teach Hanley is sponsoring today's video, they are offering an insane deal. Hit that link in the description box below and you will actually get 30% off your first skincare system plus a free gift. And as a member, you get 20% off for life. That is crazy. By the way, both gifts you are choosing from are a $20 value and a complete game changer a silicone body scrubber or a nail and face grooming kit personally i prefer the silicone body scrubber right here this thing feels amazing on your skin way better than those scratchy little loofers so don't wait any longer hit that link in the description box below and start your skincare journey today all right so next up we got Underwear has a shelf life, guys. <laughs> Especially you big dudes out there, man. Oh my god, the wear and tear is what would you say? Yep. 3X faster? Look, man, if faster? You, yeah, if you have any type of holes, <laughs> if you got holes on the rib of your underwear, you got just holes in general, it's time to go, man. Mm. If you're white ain't whiting no more, it I ain't would say right. don't you even cop white. white. Don't even cop white don't for the chance white. for it to be off white. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, cause that's in right now. <laughs> on, but not, not, not on underwear, brother. Underwear. <laughs> not on underwear. You wear black, mask a lot of things, and it go longer. Man. You know, you wear, you get black, it might last longer the than black. Black you know? clients, man. Yeah. They, they do great, I man. think uh, I saw online there is an actual shelf life, you know, uh, not to get too scientific, uh, but bacteria gets in there. Like, detergent can only do so much uh, only after so a far. year. Like, yeah. So, and, uh, and, and after that, you know, it's going to start and deteriorating and... Uh, here now. Oh, but man, 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 underwear is getting expensive though, man. I always thought underwear was expensive because it lasts forever. It's like fifty dollars sometimes for like two or packs. three packs. It's crazy, it's insane. Bro. insane. But you gotta think about it. you gotta <laughs> Johnny, wear it when every you day. said damn, were you like, damn, I'm going on five years? Yeah, this I is thought like, you were gonna say something crazy. It's been a while, man. It's been a while. I'm not gonna exclude myself with this, but note to everybody, including oh, myself. Man. <laughs> underwear has expiration. Year date. and a half, brother. Uh, <laughs> we're all learning. We're all part of this, you know. But um, yeah, underwear has a shelf life, guys, and uh your girl, your girl notices, man. Oh, yeah. And if she sees yeah. some like holes in your stuff, 
Mm. Let it go. That's an underrated tip right there. That's an underrated tip. That is a very yeah. underrated tip. Swag swag. What we got? What we got? What else? What else? What I was else? gonna what else? just say a really embarrassing story, but I'm not. What? Uh, you, wore, you wore the Tuesdays on a Friday? You sharded? Not gonna say it. Bro. Oh. Oh. I'm not gonna say it. Raise your hand if you sharded before. That's for the um. <laughs> no, all right. Oh, I know you sharded. I, I did take a shit. I know you don't raise your hand. I did take a shit when I was in the outfields in Little League. What? What does that even mean? Tell me. Like more about I was that. in the outfield, I was playing defense, <laughs> and I had to take a shit so bad. That I just went. Oh. I didn't want to take a time out. I didn't want to go in. Damn. And, Damn. I was just like, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna run this. I Would you feel used like... to wipe your ass, you suck? Huh? I... Would you used to wipe your ass? I did did when I can. Yeah. Man, you better, I better hope it was a ninth inning, brother. Bro, I don't know. I was in fifth grade. I was yeah. like, <laughs> I ain't gonna call this. You wildest. I would hop the fence and went to the close honey bucket, my brother. Yeah. You wildest. All right, comfortable. <laughs> nah. Uh, yeah, I guess this one kind of fits. Comfortable clothes translates to your personality and confidence. Mm, this is big. This does. is big. Are, we, are you referring to material right now? Material, or I guess you could talk about it so psychologically, right? too. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, uh, material, though. Yeah. Yep. I definitely understand this. Aside from material, I definitely understand this for fit. Yeah. Because I'll it, say, yeah. when stuff is too tight, as a big guy, you're trying to fit in a lot. So when you try to wear items that just don't fit you, you or it's too big in the shoulder, you, you see, see the uncomfortability. Yeah. You see it. You I feel see it. it. I'm not going to say who, but I see it in someone where I'm like, bro, you <laughs> look, look, that shirt's way too yep. tight on you, man. Yep. It's just way too tight. You tell yeah. me all the time, my G's, like right now, you, Rich, Richie's been telling me, like, yo, your pants. Why are you still wearing skinnies? You know, like you still ask me until today. And I'm like, because they're comfortable. So they're still comfortable to me. Because they got stretch. Those were literally yeah. had our stretchiest those pants. Yeah. Those are yep. damn near leggings. I you see might your calves You outline. might as well wear leggings. I got nice calves. We talked about this, man. Got so nice you want to share, show off your nice nice calves with some You know, it's comfortable. <laughs> it's very comfortable, man. When I go yeah. to Burning Man stuff, I wear leggings and stuff, bro. So these are very comfortable, man. What man, you I love that? those pants. I love bro. them. Love them to death. We were in Coachella, and I had to talk you into wearing shorts. That was crazy, right? Because you were about to wear those in 100 It was 120 degree weather or something so like that. So for you, crazy. it's not about really the look. It's about the comfort. It's comfort. I feel very comfortable in these. Okay. You know? Okay. Well, sure. Yeah, you can't man. be mad at that. Sure. Can't be mad at that. Well, but you feel comfortable, and you, you look, act comfortable, you too. Have to, yeah. You have that to, That is man. a big point. I mean, it, it comes down to even when you wear suits, there's a reason why. When things are a little bit more tailored to your body. Yep. Or the material you is suit during the time of move a little different, you know? So yep. Yeah. I mean, there's literally suits range from... Hundred bucks to yep. thousands and that's thousands. That's that thread count, like, baby. That's that thread yep. count. Oh, yo, I got a nice little tip. If you want some suits that are inexpensive that offer a range from like slim, you can get literally pick the same suit and it offers like four different sizes. It's ASOS. Right. Yeah, oh ASOS, yeah, you ASOS, love ASOS, ASOS, ASOS man. You they get got a good ASOS, return policy too. They got a great return policy. I'll get slim, skinny, and super skinny. But I'll get super skinny, like three, four sizes up. Yeah, yeah. Versus like the slims, I I'll seen, get the right I size. I seen one of your packages once. It had like. 20 different suits Bro, there. they because let you return. return they let 19. you return all that. Hey, ASOS. So I, I, ASOS. I, I, give me a brand new. If you're bro. watching, <laughs> I think I'll give you a brand new after that, bro. They hate you. <laughs> they hate <laughs> your ass off for returns. I know, right? I, but, I saw on, um because I do this a lot with uh, end clothing, and then I saw when I logged in the last time. Oh, Lord. There was like a disclaimer that was like, we monitor how many returns you do. Oh, it was like, wow. I was like, huh, is this for me? Not ASOS, though. <laughs> Not, Not ASOS. ASOS. But I feel like n Clothing, that's like high-end brands yeah, and all that's that. True. Right, speaking of that, speaking of that, purchase from websites to try on and return them to get hey, <laughs> there's return a them right off the bat. and get it secondhand. There you okay. go. You save so much money getting it secondhand, but sometimes you don't know if you got, because you can't return it, something yep. you bought used. True. So just Very go true. use the website to try them on, you know? Yep. Yeah. And a lot of brands these days are pumping out so many like items and pieces that you might not get the exact thing that you wanted, but it's similar, you but a different colorway. Yep. Uh, yeah. I feel like even like Eric, Eric Emanuel shorts, like you don't necessarily need like that exact one you wanted. You could settle for like another colorway. A or lot of dope places. Yeah. You know, like heavyweight stock shop. Places. You could check out some cool shorts, you know? Just yeah. You want that vibe. Mm. Where? Heavyweights.shop. Just a little oh, subtle plug. For sure, for you sure. Know, shout out to the boys. All right, so this one right here we've talked about in the mm -hmm. past, but it's just so important. Uh, dress for the occasion. You oh, never want to oh, feel yeah. like you're more important than uh, the occasion yes. and what's going on, the yeah. event. Yes. Like, or you don't take the occasion as serious. Serious, yeah. yeah. So, and then um, people are not going to take you seriously. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's always they, they always say overdress is better than underdress. You oh, know? Very true. Very true, very true, very Dang, true. Even, I mean, unless you're you know at a wedding, you're wearing white, like you're not supposed to. I think that's the only time when you shouldn't overdress, you know. So, man, I I I have that problem when I go into weddings. I like to wear very loud shirts and very you're the obnoxious type you glasses. Somebody. And you know, I've learned to tone it down a little bit over the years. But you definitely don't want to take the moment away from whoever the moment is for, mm -hmm. right? It's not about you. Obviously, you're trying to go to a wedding, look good, pick up chicks, whatever. But 
It's not about you. Yeah. It's about the bigger picture. So next up, we have proportions over brands, guys. Mm. Um, the Break brand, that down. huh? Break that down, Rich. Break that yeah, down. Yeah, the brand does not trump having a something that does not fit you properly. You know what okay. I mean? Like, I'd rather spend thirty bucks on a tailored pair of pants rather than that thirty dollars on a name brand pair of pants that don't fit you right. I mean, I was just trying on Essentials the other day. Oh man, yeah. that brand is crazy oversized. When it comes to the fit, oh, I it see is it. literally like I I still think people are just buying it due to the Essentials logo. Yeah, yeah or even when you're looking from afar. It's like a signature fit. You just know, like, ah, that's an essential it's hoodie. It's so yeah. Based baggy, off of bro. how it looks on the person. Yeah. yeah. You know? I mean, T-shirt sleeves are literally going down to half your uh, forearm. Man, like, I yeah. mean, going going off of that, even with a more simpler brand that you could get, like, the generic line is Carhartt. Mm -hmm. I got, a, like, a double XL one that was just way too big compared to a regular size double XL. I had to, like, cut the bottom. I just yeah. cro I ended up just cropping Dang, it. Dang. So yeah. you, you definitely, I, I like that advice because sometimes... You see a lot of other people wearing these oversized looks and stuff like that, but it might not be fitting for your body. Yeah. So whether it's too tight or too big, definitely. Well, especially a if you're trying to branding. rock with the brand. Yep. If you're trying to make that little, you know, statement that 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 that, uh, that logo pop. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes, yeah, you do have to consider like the proportion. The proportion. So. Yep. Yeah. And nowadays, uh, the raw hem thing is big, so just cutting it down to your liking. Yeah. They have the uh, sheer scissors that are meant for fabrics that are Dope. really where good it doesn't for look cutting. too clean, too clean of a cut. You still want that natural fray look. So yeah. And then it yeah does that whole like. Um, curl. curl curl thing yep, yep. Um, but yeah 10 ways to instantly improve your swag in 2024 what is swag to you guys what is swag <sighs> swag man something we asians got or what swag, oh, sure. swag is not called swag anymore rich the kids nowadays they call it riz you i thought that's more like i thought that was game. when you're game yeah for girls i think swag yeah. does correlate with game you, mean, you yeah, don't gotta okay. say much but maybe your outfit has the riz swag. you know what i'm saying riz. 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 talking for you but Are we no, still allowed to say think... swag in 2024 no, i don't think so really i, I still so. use it a lot really yeah. Get with the times. Get with the times. Oh. You what do you say then? What do you say then? Fresh. You know, Girls uh, like it when you call them swaggerlicious. I'm swaggerlicious? Swaggerlicious. Shit. Like, what? All right. Let us know Man, if there's I'm... another word for swag. Uh, 2024 um, but yeah just wanted to go over some things that we've accumulated throughout the year some things that you guys could apply if you guys are not sub to the channel make sure you guys hit that like button sub to the channel and until next time we out peace, peace.